And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Tony D, who writes, The new League of Legends animated series... Uh, where do we go? There. The new League of Legends animated series, Arcane, just released this week, and it is fantastic. However, it reignites the conversation of how Netflix releases their shows. As we all know, Netflix typically drops entire seasons of a show all at once. Yes, they are. Uh, all at once um, and for it to be binged. Arcane, on the other hand, is being released in three episode chunks every week. Do you think if this show proves successful, Netflix might start experimenting with the weekly mo model for more of their shows? Thanks, and keep up the great work. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. Okay, so this new show, Arcane, has come out, and it's, it's up and it's out now, and it looked pretty good. It looked pretty good. I decided to go over and give it a shot. And I checked it out. And first, before we talk about what does this mean for Netflix's release strategy, I'll say this Arcane is actually pretty good. Now, I'm not a League of Legends player. I downloaded and installed League of Legends once, uh, and I never ended up playing it. Actually, you know what? I still think I have it on my machine. I still think I have it on here, but I don't think I've ever actually played it. So I really don't know anything about League of Legends. So I sat down, fired it up, on Netflix, Arcane, and watch the first three episodes that are out. And I got to say, I'm pleasantly impressed. The animation style is actually quite good. Um, the voice, I think Haley Steinfeld is is uh, is one of the voices of the main character. I think she is. The action in it's great. It creates, it does some really nice world building. It's a nice show. I've enjoyed Now, I don't think it's the best thing I've seen on Netflix in a while, but it's actually pretty solid. And I know when episodes four, five, and six come out, I know I will be checking it out. I know I will be checking it out for sure. I did enjoy the first three. Um, so quite good. But the question becomes, this is a little bit different for Netflix. Netflix has a pattern, and they have always been, in the model of we drop all of the shows of a season at once. And there are a lot of people who are big fans of that approach. I'm a binger myself. I kind of like that. I like knowing that when a new season of this or the first season of something comes out, if I've got, you know, the evening free, I can sit down and binge four episodes tonight if I want. Or I can stay up all night and get through the entire season if I want. It's a nice little option that you have. But as we've talked about on this show, the reality is the week-to-week -week releases is a far better mechanism for networks and streaming services to build up momentum and build word of mouth and to build their audience. It's not even a question anymore, and it's not subjective. It is the superior way to release things. You and I may like them dropping the seasons all at once. Absolutely. But the reality is that the smarter way and the more effective way for them to do it is to release it week to week because we've seen the studies. We've talked about this many times. We've seen audiences for shows grow and grow and grow with week after week after week after week releases. You know, a new season of Stranger Things drops. Everybody talks about it for a week. And then nobody talks about it anymore. The conversation, I remember so clearly, like when this, the first time I really noticed this, was when Punisher, Punisher season two came out on Netflix. And I remember I binged it all in like 48 hours. I binged the whole thing in like within two days. And I remember everybody online being really excited about it and everybody talking about it for about four or five days. And then nobody talked about it anymore. It was gone like a fart in the wind. It was gone. Nobody talked about it anymore. It was done. So, only the people who were excited about watching it and then watched it right away, they're the only who watch it. It didn't stay around in the conversation for week after week after week, getting more people's attention and getting more people on board. Contrast that against something like WandaVision, where WandaVision took the week-by-week -week approach in their releases, and what happened to their viewership numbers? It did this, 
Every single week, their viewership numbers went up and up and up and up and up and up to the point there that for a while it was the number one show watch show in the world. But it didn't start off that way. It's just that it had one episode. Everybody talked about it. And then the following week, they put out another episode and everybody talked about it. Then people who hadn't been watching WandaVision started hearing about it. Same as true as Mandalorian. People started hearing about it. It's like, really? Should I mean, I'm not a Star Wars person, but I heard Baby Yoda was kind of cute. Should I watch it? Yeah, man, they're just going to have episode three tomorrow, so you can go back and watch the first two episodes now. So more people got on board. And then it did again the next week. And for two solid months, for two solid months, the number one topic of conversation was Mandalorian or WandaVision. When it was, like, when WandaVision was playing, what was it, six episodes? I can't remember. But for six, seven weeks solid, That was the number one topic of conversation for six or seven weeks, WandaVision. When Mandalorian comes out for two months, the number one topic of conversation is Mandalorian. That is something you don't get when you drop an entire season at once. And again, I say this as a binger. I'm a binger myself. But I've been telling you guys for a while that Netflix is not blind to this and that we are going to see in the next year or two or three We're going to see Netflix starting to experiment a little bit with multiple releases of a season. And that's what they're doing right now with Arcane. Instead of, now, they're not going one way or the other, full-fledged one way or the other. They're kind of taking a middle ground right now where instead of dropping all nine episodes, because I think it's going to be nine episodes, but instead of just dropping all nine episodes, they're dropping them three episodes at a time. So episodes one, two, and three this week, episodes four, five, and six, I think it's next week, and then episodes seven, eight, and nine later on. And they're releasing it kind of like a weekly schedule, but in bunches. And here's the thing. I think it's going to work because right now I'm hearing a lot of people talking about Arcane. And now it's going to build up the buzz and energy and excitement for the next set of episodes that are going to drop. And then another big set of enthusiasm for the next set of episodes to drop. And I think Netflix is going to see this. And Netflix is not going to stop at this one experiment. And they've experimented with this before, too. This is something I think we're going to see Netflix experimenting with more and more and more. Now, I don't know that we're ever going to see Netflix get to a place where they just exclusively do week-by-week releases. But I do think a time is coming within one, two, or three years maybe four, that we're going to see some Netflix stuff still drop entire seasons at once, but then a lot of other Netflix stuff, I think, taking and adopting a week-to-week release schedule because they see the success that something like Disney Plus is having. Because you can't deny the success they're having. Their viewership grows week after week after week, and the conversation keeps on going, whereas Netflix drops a season of something, and then it's out of the conversation a week later. So it's going to be interesting to see. And I think it's very interesting that they chose a show like Arcane to kind of play with this a little bit. But I don't know. Question is for you guys. Number one, have you watched Arcane? It's actually pretty good. If so, what have you thought of it? But number two, what do you think of this release strategy of releasing three episodes at a time week after week? Do you think Netflix will do this more? Do you think they should do it more? However you guys are feeling about it, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.